Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Becca and if we've never met before, this is my channel where I talk about all the planty things. Today, the planty thing that we are discussing is how you can support small planty businesses during this Christmas season or holiday season, whatever you celebrate. I happen to celebrate Christmas, so that's why I just said that. I asked my audience on Instagram all of the plant businesses they like supporting, whether it be plants themselves, plant accessories, or plant accessories for people. I got an overwhelmingly large amount of responses, so I have compiled the ones that were mentioned either twice or I found the company very interesting. I will have a full list of everything down in the description box below. Especially this year, it's very, very important to be supporting our small businesses around us, especially those in our community who benefit directly from our sales. I think that when you order from a small business, well, I don't think that, I know that when you order from a small business, you are putting a smile on a real person's face who started this, who probably made this. And yeah, it's just the best feeling in the world to have some Someone believe in your product enough to buy it. I know this myself because I do have products as well. I do consider De La Plants a small business. So thank you for supporting my small business by watching this video. And if you want to support my small business through this video, if you see an ad in this video, it would really help out my channel if you watched at least 30 seconds of that ad or even clicked on the ad and then came right back. You could even mute the ad while it's playing through. When ads play through on YouTube, that is when YouTubers are able to make the most money off of their videos. So that's just one small way that you can help Help just with this video alone and I will be sharing a few of my little planty products that I've made myself throughout the video as well also before we get started last thing I want to say Nicole from my clean leaves is also doing a very similar video to this we're sort of collabing on this topic because she reached out to a bunch of companies on Etsy to send her some products to showcase to you guys for a small business celebration and support this season. So she's going to be showing you like actual products that she has and um, it's gonna be a really great video. I'm really excited to see what businesses she showcases because I guarantee you they will be a completely different list than the ones that I'm talking about. Well, I can't guarantee that because I haven't watched her video yet, but I'm pretty certain it will be different products and companies and all of these things. So lots of opportunities to support small. I will have her video linked down below for your viewing pleasures. I wanna talk about plants and plant shops that you can support. So first and foremost, the best thing that you could possibly do is support a small local nursery in your area. So things that are not Home Depot and Lowe's. Obviously that is better than ordering online or whatever else because you're taking out like the shipping and the packaging and all of those types of things. Environmentally, that's a little bit better. Um, but as far as supporting small businesses, a lot of nurseries are family owned small businesses who probably in the winter time aren't getting as many sales. They're not doing as much at the end of the day. So that would be a really great way to support a small business in your area is to head out to those local family owned nurseries, buy a plant, buy a plant for someone else, buy a plant for yourself, whatever it may be. Um, when it comes to buying plants though, if you're not going to be able to buy from a locally owned place due to COVID reasons, maybe they're closed, maybe you don't feel comfortable going out, which is totally fine, you can support online businesses and I have a list here. It's super important that you don't forget the heat pack. The heat pack is probably the thing that will keep your plants alive because most house plants are not going to be happy under 55 degrees. I think it's 55 or 50, but you don't want to risk it either way. So if the nighttime temperatures of your home are going to be lower than around 60 degrees, I would say that you need to pack a heat pack in there and they usually only cost an extra $2 and it's just worth it for that extra sense of security when you are ordering plants online in winter, during the Christmas season, during the holiday season, or just when it's cold in general. Okay, so some shop recommendations that I got are Thorn and Raised. They had a really great selection. And as far as community helpers, the Plant Chica is awesome for this. She does a lot of community outreach and she does a lot of community like free plant events. She was giving free plants to people who voted. Just lots of really great stuff. The Plant Chica is on Etsy. Okay, as far as cool Hoyas go, we have Homestead Plant Shop. Hoyas are kind of difficult to find sometimes and when you can find a shop that has them in stock, it's a win. A plant nonprofit. Okay, so Happy Dancing Plants is a plant nonprofit, 100% nonprofit they donate all of their sales and they have on their Instagram who they donate to so I wanted to put that out there as well cactus okay ordering cactus online is a little bit 
difficult um, because there's not a ton of places that sell like really cool cactus for a good price. There is a company called In Bloom Plant Co. That, which is based out of Tucson and I've ordered, or not ordered, but I've purchased a few cactus from them. They have lots of booby cactus, like a lot of booby cactus and like San Pedro cactus, Anita cactus, um, just lots of options, lots of cactus, and it's based out of Tucson. So you know that you're in the heart of the desert, so you're getting good plants. I can assure you that the selection is amazing, and if you want to support a small business in the cactus industry, you can definitely do that. They do a lot of Instagram sales, so if you follow them on Instagram at In Blue Plant Co., she does a lot of sales on her stories or in her feed, and also lots of updates about what's for sale and and on Etsy too. Okay, so the next category is plant person accessories. Now this was definitely like the biggest category there is. So I'm gonna try to like break it down into subcategories so that this is a little bit more organized for you. But I think there's a lot of businesses who are like hopping onto the botanical or houseplant art train. And a lot of the people on this list are like people who also own plants. And then there are people who just draw plants, which is obviously good too <laughs> but a lot of these people were sharing their own companies and they also were plant owners so there's two botanical calendars the first one is from at third coast paper that one is really beautiful alexandra underscore illustration on instagram she's an artist based out of poland and has really really beautiful botanical art and i just love her stuff she's actually going to be sending me the calendar so i'm really really excited to see that more cute plant art by home by faith and then also Twin Oaks Design. So Avery from Twin Oaks Design actually illustrated the image that is on my tote bags, which is so beautiful. I gave her my vision. I basically said a line drawing of a plant with colorful blobs and she just like made it happen and it was so cool. She is a very, very talented artist with lots of detail in her work. I do have my tote bags listed on my website at www.dailyplants.com shop. I have an anthurium design and a philodendron design and they're both very, very cute. All right, so if you're in the mood to wear some planty things, you can check out Fertilizer Queen and they have t-shirts, totes, and all the planty accessories, really cute stuff. I mean, all of this stuff is really cute, so I don't really need to say that over and over again, but everything is very, very cute. I can assure you of that. <laughs> planty stained glass. Stained glass is not something that I think of being like modern, but this planty stained glass by herenowglass.com, that's their website. It is just so beautiful and modern and you have like stained glass houseplant stuff. It's really cool. I would definitely recommend checking them out. That would be a really wonderful gift for someone, especially if you don't want to buy them a plant. It's a little bit risky. These plant accessories, like all of these things would be good alternatives instead because plant lovers love plant things. The plants guy on Instagram sells a Monstera Albo pin, which is very, very beautiful. So if you're looking for a pin, you can check that out. Also the plant dosage has lots of pins and earrings and things like that. Like there's so many earrings companies. I will actually have linked down below an earring video that I did that showed off a ton of plant accessories and pins and totes and a bunch of stuff like that. So you can also check that video for that. But plant dosage, I actually recently worked on a collab with them on some Anthurium King and Queen earrings and I love them so much. I wear them both at the same time and I'm actually surprised I'm not wearing them right now. I should have, but I wanted to wear my sweater. If you're looking for knits, so speaking of my beautiful sweater, <laughs> this is not from them. I thrifted this a few weeks ago. Go, but if you're looking for knits, you can definitely check out Plantily Creations on Etsy and they have lots of knitwear and all kinds of stuff like that. They're a planty person. So if you want to support a planty person with knitwear, that's a really good option. Okay, so the Etsy shop Rooted by Nature with two E's at the end is selling planty shirts and stickers to raise money for their own fight for cancer. So if you're looking to support someone in that way, that's a really good place to do that. And you can also check them out on Instagram to get updates on what they're making, what's going on. Um, so definitely check that one out. Tyler Thrasher has a plant journal and Pam from Pam's Pretty Plants talked about it in her recent winterizing her plants video, which was lovely. Also Indoor Jungle Directory sponsored that video. So I'll talk about that in just a second. But 
it was really cool because she showed off her plant journal and this is something that I think started from a Kickstarter. So Tyler started on a Kickstarter. It's basically a botanical journal for your house plants to document how they're growing, their progress, what they, I don't know, like I think like have a log of all your plants, just lots of stuff related to your plants. So that's such a thoughtful and beautiful gift for someone. There are really beautiful illustrations in the book as well because he's an artist. So I don't know, I think that's a really beautiful gift. It's something that I would really love to have so definitely check that out as well and then when I mentioned indoor jungle directory indoor jungle directory is a website that I created it's basically a social media network for plant people only so it's very exclusive and I would describe it as an alternative to Facebook because I know that not everybody like loves Facebook these days so if you are looking to get out of Facebook groups and all that kind of stuff so I love scrolling through all of the different cities so basically how it works is you create a free account with indoor jungle directory dot daily plant com i'll have that link down below as well and you can start a group for your city and if one doesn't already exist there's also groups on there for like anyone and everyone so you can join just like a big group where a bunch of people talk the idea of it is that you will create a specific group for your city where you can find it you can make the little profile put a picture and you can talk to people from your area about local things you know local plant shops local weather what to do some tips and tricks if you want to do some trading you can do it on indoor jungle directory it is a wonderful alternative to facebook okay so wooden ophelia is a shop that makes shelves and sells crystals which are perfect for plants i see a lot of people pairing like their plants with crystals and shelves we always need shelves especially wall shelves because we're running out of floor space so that's a really great one if you want to check that one out okay so for your pets i was suggested spoiled creatures on etsy you can also follow them on instagram definitely lots of animal stuff and planty stuff and then also for pets my friend faith owns a fox moth which is basically a dog bandana and accessories a company and she does a lot of botanical prints because she is a plant person herself she actually just came out with some more masks so she makes masks that will match your dog's bandana we love that we love to match love her stuff so much it's so well made as someone who sews i can tell you very well made and lovely. Okay, we're going to move on to actual things for your plants. And again, I wanna say that there was a lot of recommendations and I definitely would not have been able to share all of them. Okay, for plant accessories and display, we have a couple different categories, mainly macrame, pottery, trellises, things like that. So let's just get into it. Okay, so for macrame, we have the bees booth. I have had a few different items from the bees booth. Um, in my house, I have a macrame hanger plant, like hanging over here. It's really well made macrame pieces in a lot of different varieties. So it's not only plant hangers, but her plant hangers are beautiful. She has a holiday collection out right now, which are like ornaments and things like that. And also she does workshops in her area. I think she lives in Pennsylvania something like that. So check out her Instagram if you want to um, get in on some of that. Also for macrame, we have livenotted.com, probably also livenotted on Instagram. Foliage Fika on Instagram does macrame as well. Plant hangers, all this kind of stuff. And that's it for macrame. So pottery, I shared an entire video about my pottery, basically sharing where I got it from. And I have a lot of pottery from small businesses, especially as of recently. So if you wanna check out that video, definitely go look at it. There's a lot of insight on just pottery in general. Um, I'm not a ceramicist, so there are people in the comments who like made corrections or added on to the video. So definitely check out the comments if you want to learn more about pottery in that regard. But for our pottery artists who added their name or someone added their name into the list, Kelly V Pottery. They actually make really cool pottery that is like planets. So cool and lots of other designs, but like the planet pottery is really beautiful and I would like one someday. Aero Ceramics or Aro Ceramics, I still haven't figured out which one that is, but I did talk about them in my pottery video. Um, lots of beautiful little pots. I just ordered like a little, uh, like I guess like two, three inch pot and I'm really excited. I have a need for those smaller pots right now and so I've kind of been ordering a lot because when you order from ceramicists, people who make the pottery um, like in small batches and stuff, it does tend to be just a little bit more expensive than buying a terracotta in bulk at the store, um, just with the amount of care and attention to detail that goes into it. So <clears throat> I do have a lot of smaller pottery pieces from those types of companies and I love it so much. They're such cute little plant pots. Imagelling also does pottery. They're based out of the UK. She sent me a beautiful, beautiful pot. 
um, that I have one of my Sansevieria in right now. I unboxed that in a video, so definitely check them out too. Painted pots. We have two entries, and Concrete Botanical does painted pots. I actually have a painted pot from her right here, and she actually sent me a housewarming gift, which that was included in, and there was also a pink one, and just so many beautiful things. Oh, Pistachio Playground dot shop sells different shaped, like squiggly shaped, fun shaped trellises. And I would really like to get one at some point. Um, they're really beautiful. And I'm imagining like some Hoyas trellising up on top of it or like a, a Deschidia or something. I think it'd be really cute. And next is the plant tarp by Welcome to the Jungle Home. Phoebe is based out of New York City and she is a plant lover just like you and me. And she makes plant tarps. It's a clear tarp with like colorful buttons and they're just really cute. And it assembles really similarly to my RT1 repotting tarp which we've seen it's just like a flat surface and then you pull up the corners and you snap it so that it becomes like a little enclosed workstation and it's really nice i will definitely say with confidence that if you get a plant tarp you will never look back because all of the mess is just contained and phoebe is also holding a discount right now so check out her instagram i think it's 15 percent off all right and the last question that i asked you guys is what would you gift a new plant person so if you have a friend that you're either wanting to get into plants or they are super brand new to plants, what would you give them as a gift? And I got so many submissions, like literally hundreds. I was a little bit overwhelmed, but let's go through it and see which ones you suggest the most. The number one thing that was suggested was a moisture meter. And I honestly think that is probably the best thing that you can get a new plant owner because while the moisture meter isn't always 100% effective or like the best way to find out if a plant needs to be watered or not, it is a really, really great place to start. So if someone is unfamiliar with plants, usually their biggest struggle is knowing when to water. And the moisture meter just kind of eliminates that struggle because you know, you just stick it in there and it'll tell you if it's dry or wet or in the middle, if you need to wait a few days. So moisture meter I think is top notch. And you know, as you grow as a plant person and you start to understand your plants a little bit more, you might not need it as much, but I definitely do use my moisture meter still if I'm unsure and I want a second opinion on whether a plant actually needs water because yeah, if you water and it, the plant doesn't need water, especially in winter, you could be looking at a root rot situation, which is not good. Okay, a lot of people suggested my soil mix and I'm not just saying that because it's my soil mix, but a lot of people did suggest it and I would have to agree with them. So another thing that beginner plant people struggle with is soil because they see the potting mix on the shelf and they say, it's potting mix, perfect. And they don't really look at the fine print and they don't, they're not really thinking about what the plant needs as far as like aeration and water retention and all these things. So they end up putting the plant in a really dense mix without even trying. And yeah, I've actually repotted some of the plants that I repotted in my first YouTube video or my second YouTube video, I think. And it was not good, like not good at all. Um, the soil, I was mixing my soil like pretty early on, but my mix was just not that good. So I think until you get a better grip on mixing your own soil, it's probably better off to buy a ready-made soil or just learn how to do it really fast. But if you don't wanna do that and you want to help out your friend, definitely check out my custom soil mix that I made with Tank's Green Stuff. That is a really, really great way to help out a friend and a really great way to help out me and Tank's. Tank's Green Stuff is a local small business in Tucson, so it was basically two small businesses coming together to make a beautiful product, which is really fun. It is a ready-to-use houseplant mix. It is available in a ton of Arizona retailers. It is available at Vintage Hill in Missouri, which is so exciting. I can buy it locally to me. I'm so happy about that. Um, but if you're not local to Arizona or Missouri, we are trying to get it in a bunch of different states. So just stay tuned for that. You can also order it on Amazon. It is available in a one quart, eight quart, or 16 quart bag. And, and, and if you don't want to buy it through Amazon, which I totally understand, you can contact Tank Screen Stuff directly and just place an order that way so that you're not having to go through Amazon. If you are going to order from Amazon, use someone's affiliate link because then you are kind of giving a little bit back to a small business in the process of ordering from Amazon. I know that it's not always ideal, but sometimes you just really can't find something anywhere else. So if you can, even if you just open up Amazon through someone's affiliate link, they are still able to get a little bit of money off of that sale, even if you don't buy the thing that they linked just because their link brought you to Amazon. That's basically how it works. So affiliate links with Amazon if you are gonna shop Amazon. It's a really good idea. I have the affiliate link in my description box below for my soil mix 
at all times so go ahead and check that out i can tell from this thread who are like really good gift givers <laughs> because some people like had like a set of things that they would give someone so this one is from uh taylor my friend plant dust woman on youtube instagram she's awesome she said a cute pot macrame holder and a plant which is such a beautiful way to set someone up and also like maybe a little bag of soil if you want unless you repot the plant for them <laughs> uh neem oil in a cute pot plant books is a really good one a cute watering can is really sweet cuttings with a cool pot that's a great idea so that they can grow the cuttings themselves root them and then pot them into the planter when they're ready as far as gifting someone a plant, someone said pothos type plant or a snake plant, which is both really great options for gifting a plant. I would also say ZZ is a great plant to gift someone. Sticky traps, oh my gosh, this is amazing. When I started, I had no idea what I was doing and gnats were everywhere. That is such a good tip. Yes, sticky traps for sure. Plant books or a terrarium with instructions. I love that. I would gift a pair of gloves. I think it's super important for a beginner. I would agree with this. If you watch my repotting videos, you know like when it's like a dedicated repotting video and I have like a lot to do, I love to repot with gloves on because honestly, I hate, hate getting dirt under my fingernails. I hate having dirty hands. I'm just one of those people, I don't like having dirty hands, and so working with dirt all the time is a little bit, uh, it's not my favorite thing, but I do, I do like getting my hands in dirt sometimes, but I just have to like really wash my hands super well afterwards, so a pair of gloves is a great idea, especially for someone like me, because, oops, got a text, because yeah, I don't think that not liking to have my hands dirty should deter me from owning plants, you know? I should still enjoy having plants. Ah, okay, so shears or a propagation station or both. That's a really great idea. Shears are really great so that you, well, shears and a propagation station together because you're kind of encouraging them to make more plants because for a lot of people, propagation is what gets them into owning plants. And that's pretty much what it was for me. I started a lot of my plants from propagations. Like those two up here in this little corner started off as propagations and I still have them and it's really fun. So that definitely got me into it. Ah, a light meter, that's a great one. So light can be measured in foot candles with certain light meters. I will have an option linked down below for us if we want to try that out. Um, I've never used it before because I kind of just wing it, but I've, I have thought about getting a light meter just to know exactly how low the light is in certain parts of my home. A plant care guide, that's fun. Okay, that's a free gift. So if you wanna write someone up a plant care guide, you can do that, just like your little quick tips for watering. Oh, you know what? I do have a downloadable that I shared with you guys for free. It was a plant care guide. I'll link that down below as well. Um, it's a really fun way to just, it's, a, it's already made. You can just send it to them if you want. You can wrap it up and just print it out for them. That's it. So that's a really good gift too. Hand painted pottery. That's a good one. You can paint your own pottery and customize like a $2 planter from the garden center. Um, that's a really great and thoughtful gift. I personally love handmade gifts. Like if someone makes me something, I'm all for it. Like that is the type of gift that I'm super into. I, I do like store-bought gifts, but like if you make me something that is so special to me, it'll probably make me cry for sure. A cute apron with garden tools in the pocket and gloves. Beautiful. This person is a wonderful gift giver. That's a good one. A turkey baster. Yes. This is something that I suggested in my non-traditional plant tools video. A, tur a turkey baster is really helpful if you water your plants where they live so that the water just goes through into the saucer so you just take the turkey baster and squeeze out the water um, I personally don't do that with my watering I always take things to the sink or outside well I'm not taking them outside right now but the sink usually so I don't have to worry about that but I guess if you have like a super heavy plant that might be helpful or you know again if you are a person who goes around with a watering can but I've never been like that so Ooh, this is good okay a list of awesome youtubers to learn from so that goes again with the guide like you could just make them an entire guide and add in all of these different things like different youtubers different instagrammers to watch different books to find if you want to buy them a planty book I would definitely suggest the new plant parent by Daryl houseplant jungle that's really great or no no houseplant journal that's a really great book. And also Summer Rain's book is really good. Um, lots of great indoor beginner plant books out there. And I will hint, if you're at this part in the video, I do have something coming out. That's the most nonchalant thing that I could possibly do, but I might be adding to that category sometime in the future, okay? Just, if you've made it to this point in the video, that's our little secret. I've been working on it for a long time, so. Hey, surprise. <laughs> 
But yeah, so that's all of our collective suggestions for this category. I hope that this can be an encouragement to shop small this winter, holiday season, whatever it may be. And even if it's not for the holiday season and you just wanna take these down for when you want something for your birthday or when you want to give someone a sweet gift, I love the idea of just like making like a basket of things to give to someone, like the collection of like a pot and a plant and a macrame hanger or an apron with the tools. Like that is such a great idea. I'm stealing that. <laughs> And don't forget to go check out Nicole's video to learn more about more planty businesses that you could be supporting this holiday season. If you want to check out anything that I talked about today, check out that PDF document in the comments, or nope, in the description box below. Sorry, I've been filming for a long time. My mind is getting loose, but anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.